My name is Kevin Kalsa. I'm an orthopedic spine surgeon practicing here in Scottsdale, Arizona at Honor Health Thompson Peak. My job entails basically seeing people for all types of spinal injuries, spinal conditions, degenerative conditions like cervical spine, thoracic spine, and lumbar spine. And then I usually see clinic three times a week and I operate twice a week. And most of my surgeries are done here at Honor Health Thompson Peak. We're definitely seeing a lot of younger people coming in. Over the past five to six years, since the advent of the iPhone, especially cell phones becoming much cheaper, has changed what we see in our office. I am seeing a lot more teenagers come in with their parents complaining about neck pain and low back pain than I did probably five, six years ago. And in the general public, that's what we have started calling text neck. Your head, which weighs approximately 10 to 12 pounds in a neutral position with a neutral alignment, and you bring that neck into flexion, and for every 10 to 15 degrees of neck flexion, your neck weight is actually doubling. So you have these little tiny muscles of your neck which are holding your head up. And approximately at 60 degrees of neck flexion, your head weighs the same amount as a bowling ball. So you have your tiny little neck muscles which are holding your neck, trying to bring them back up. And you're constantly doing that throughout the day with an iPad or a cell phone. So it kind of makes sense when you come in at the end of the day and you're like, you go home and your neck is just absolutely aching. That's because of the fact that your little muscles are holding your neck up and trying their best to bring you back into alignment. So there are some ways to avoid text neck. One of the easiest ways is to obviously get away from that flexed posture of your cervical spine where you're constantly hunched over. So for the younger population, I tell their parents, you've got to have some text time where you give your kids cell phones for their particular usage for a particular amount of time and then you take the cell phone away. But for the adults, it's constantly reminding the adults that even though you're working and your work is dependent upon the cell phone, you gotta maintain a good posture, bring the cell phone up towards your eyes, not looking down all the time. If you're working at a computer or a laptop, you gotta make sure it's at an eye level or even higher, or maybe even get a stand-up desk at your workplace so you can stand up and work versus constantly sitting down and being in a flexed posture. It all comes down to a matter of balance. Yes, you have to work. Yes, you have to use your cell phone, and I do too. But at the same time, I understand, and so that's what I tell my patients is, have some balance. Take some time away from your electronic devices. Take some time to exercise, to check your posture, your low back posture. Maybe go see a physical therapist. And even in the gym, you can grab a trainer and just say, hey, why don't you help me figure out some new exercises that can correct my posture? So if you have any issues with neck pain like we discussed, Honor Health has a variety of physical therapists, specialists like myself. Please come visit our website and we'll be able to help you.